Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have never seen me before, my name is Rila LaFay, and today I am going to be introducing my 30 days of Halloween makeup. So this is just going to be a series of 30 different looks that you can do, um, ranging from super, super easy, lifting your everyday makeup look into a festive Halloween look, or something a little bit more intricate as we get closer to Halloween, and just some easy, fun looks you can do for your Halloween costume. For this look, you're only going to need a handful of things. You're going to need a nude liner, a very detailed art brush, a very detailed angled brush, and your favorite black eyeliner. As you can see, I already have my everyday look on, so I'm just going to add to it by adding just black eyeliner. Starting off with my angled brush, I'm going to do just a wing like I would any normal day, a date night, just my favorite everyday wing. For this, I am not going to take my lashes off. This is a look that I personally would love to do, going from just my everyday glam into, oh, let's go to a Halloween party tonight, you know? With my lashes on, I'm gonna pull down my lashes and then start adding it in. There is one wing all complete. going in with my nude liner I am just going to sketch out a spider web so I'm going to start from the very corner very inner corner or outer corner of my eye and I'm just going to draw a straight line down and then from there I'm going to do one straight down And then I'm going to do one directly out from the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take one one step further and I'm going to do it diagonally towards my nose. Sort of. This can be messy because this is just the guide for where we're going to put our black eyeliner. So. With your spider webs, you're just going to connect each of these lines with a curved line. And you want to curve it inwards towards your eye instead of outwards. Honestly, this color is really cute. You could leave it as is, just a little pop a, pop a color, a little spider web cute aesthetic but we're gonna take it one step further and we're just we're adding black and then you can add as many as your heart desires I'm just going to add three so three of these curved lines on each to really emphasize the spider web Now, you can do the same thing on the other side, smaller, bigger, whatever you please. I'm going to do just a small one on this side because we're going to add just a couple little details to this one um, that we won't add to this one. And if you want to know what color this is, this is ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the color BFF. And that is both eyes all sketched out. Now taking our fine detailed brush and our black liner, we're just going to go over top of our little sketch. I just have my eyeliner on the back of my hand and I'm just getting that detailed brush as fine as I can. And then I'm just going to go right over top of everything we just sketched out. I 
don't have the best hand. Well, I'm just always pretty shaky, but this morning, I've only had coffee today. So, it, by any means, it doesn't have to be perfect, because it's Halloween, it's a spider web. Spider webs aren't perfect always. Once you go over your nude liner, it is basically non-existent anymore. I like to be able to sketch out my face makeup prior to, um, especially if it's something as intricate or spooky as Halloween makeup. And this is one little spider web all complete. And these are my spider webs all complete. Now, our little surprise. Um, I am just going to add a little spider. So, you can do it starting with your nude liner up here. We can just start with the body. Just a small dot. And then little legs. It's not going to be anatomically correct, but that's okay. Here's our little spider. Then taking my, this is the sketch, and then taking my little detailed brush, just going to start in the middle with the little body, and I'm going to switch between my angled brush and my detailed brush. Now with my angled brush, I'm going to get it as flat as I can, and just push the sides down, and I'm going to do our little legs. We have one little spider all complete. Another option is to add him to the bottom from like a little string. That would be fun. And I'm going to try and freehand this one. Wish me luck. So going in with my black liner again, I'm just going to make a little string coming down from the spider web starting about here. Nothing too crazy, nothing too long. This little line and then starting the body of the spider again. Little body of the spider and then going in again with my angled brush. Just going to add in the legs. Freehand is definitely not the way to go. My legs look like they're 17 instead of 3. But that's okay. And this is our day one Halloween look all complete. If you want to stop here, what I'm going to do is add a tiny bit more pizzazz. I got eyeliner on me. And I'm actually going to take Urban Decay's Space Cowboy Glitter, and I'm just going to add, just with my finger, very lightly. There's one of two things you can do. I love to just, all over the spider web, pat it on, just elevate it, and look at your spider web, or you can add it to your little spider. Many ways you can do it. So, now, finally, this is our completed look. I 
Thanks for joining me for my day one of 30 days of Halloween. Tag me if you try this makeup look with the Urban Decay Space Cowboy, one of my favorite glitters. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to follow all of my socials and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.